Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this particular video is regarding admission process in NIPER. NIPERS are National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research. These institutes are dedicated for research in pharmaceuticals. So if you have interest and if you are eligible, like I'll talk about the eligibility in the subsequent uh, video. So if you are eligible and if you are interested to do your further research or to do, to do your PhD in pharmaceutical related things, then this is the best place where you can go for. So the institute is totally dedicated for uh, pharmaceutical things. So if you are interested in medicinal chemistry or if you are interested in pharma related uh, research, then this is the best place for you. So uh, NIPER joint entrance examination, that's what it is called NIPER JEE -E or NIPER JEE. -E. This is this time conducted by Hyderabad, NIPER Hyderabad. There are basically seven NIPER, so NIPER Ahmedabad, NIPER Guwahati, NIPER Hajipur, NIPER Hyderabad, NIPER Kolkata, NIPER Raibareli and NIPER Mohali or SAS Nagar, whatever you call it. So this is basically NIPER Mohali. So these are your NIPERs which are well established right now. Uh, among these NIPERs, the best ones or the top NIPERs are NIPER Hyderabad and NIPER Mohali. These are the top NIPERs for now. Okay, fine. Talking about it a little later, let's talk about the application process. So the application process goes something like this. First of all, you have to pay the fees, then you have to know your payment status, then fill the application form and then print the application form. So fee payment is done in the initial step. So first of all, before applying for it, I will request you to please, please read about the brochure in detail. There, all the details are over there regarding admission process regarding uh, seats and other things. So I'll discuss few of the things in the video itself, but still I will encourage you to read about it because uh, the application fees for this particular form is quite high. It's not a, uh, like you have to pay a big amount, 3000 rupees for general category. That's what you have to pay to apply for NIPER JE exam. All right, so let me take you guys to the brochure for NIPER JE 2022 exam. Uh, this is organized by this time by NIPER Hyderabad and uh, this is the brochure you can download it from the website itself. So the application has started from 4th of April and the last date for applying it is 3rd of May and the exam is going to happen in the on the 12th of June and uh, hall tickets will be available on 16th of May and so on right. So all that important dates are over here after qualifying the entrance exam you have to also undergo online interview and once you pass the interview also then only you can and if you qualify both of them then only you will be allowed to take admission over here it's a highly prestigious institute lot of uh, like lot of conditions are over here once you take admission right so these are nipers as i already told you about so let's come back or let's come down a little bit let me talk about that the, the subjects which are mentioned by NIPERS, right? These are the subjects which in all, all the NIPERS will have different, different subjects. But there are only few subjects which are there for uh, chemistry people. So I'll quickly take you to that particular slide so that we can discuss about the eligibility regarding chemistry people because the channel resonates with the chemistry students. So we will be talking more about the chemistry part. Also those who are from bio related things they can read about the other part as well but i'll be talking about the chemical sciences so chemical sciences people are eligible for these four subjects or these four disciplines in which they can do their research so first is medicinal chemistry the other one is natural products then you have pharmacoinformatics and then you have pharmaceutical technology or process chemistry so let me first of all tell you because the terms looks very fancy you should know what these things exactly are. So in medicinal chemistry, basically you synthesize the organic molecule, you see whether it is having some medicinal properties or not. And that's what is studied. This is more of you can say synthetic, like synthetic organic chemistry. Okay? That's what it is over here. Natural products, you all have studied natural products in your masters. It seems that is also quite similar to your synthetic organic chemistry, quite related to the same thing, more of the natural uh, Part. Regarding pharmacoinformatics, this is more of computational, uh, computational medicinal chemistry or you can say computational drug designing. So this is more of computational studies. Okay. So here you will do like you will study about different softwares, different computational methods. So basically pharmacoinformatics is like uh, computational studies of the drug molecule 
before going into the synthetic part how you can like understand that which type of molecule will be more active and so all the things comes under pharmacoinformatics it's purely like you can say it's a kind of computational studies of the biological systems in the uh, medicinal and drug discovery thing right and the last one is pharmaco uh, ph uh, pharmaceutical technology or process chemistry this is nothing but it's a kind of uh, study in which your small scale research or your small scale work is can be taken up to the industrial level so how you can take your research to the industrial level right that's what it is so you enhance the rate of your production so if you let's say you do a reaction in a lab you produce a reactant or you produce a product which is very less in amount the yield is less you make one gram or one milligram of product how you can make it in a big scale so that's what comes under this process chemistry so these are the four fields which are uh, offered for chemical sciences students um, let's talk about the eligibility criteria so for medicinal chemistry uh, you should have msc in organic chemistry this is very much uh, like required and it's very clear over here clearly written that you should have uh, like you should have a specialization in organic chemistry okay then comes your natural products for that also your msc in organic chemistry should be there then comes your pharmacoinformatics over there you can have msc in either organic chemistry or physical chemistry so organic and physical both chemistry are like are accepted over there and the last one is pharmaceutical technology or process chemistry over there also it requires msc in organic chemistry so you should have msc in organic chemistry in order to be eligible for this for like if you have a msc in organic chemistry then you are eligible for all these four subjects if you have msc in physical chemistry then you can apply for pharmacoinformatics if you have msc in inorganic chemistry then you are not eligible for any of these you cannot sit for this particular exam also if you have done chemistry or masters from general chemistry where you don't have any specialization in that case also there are chances that you are not going to be allowed to sit in this exam although if you are from a general chemistry background i will request you to please uh, have uh, like please mail to the help desk and ask over there because they will be the best person to reply you for that right so this is about the eligibility criteria now uh, this is for chemistry people of course like you have biological sciences also and there also if you see so one subject which is over here which has uh, biotechnology so over here the msc in organic chemistry are also eligible but here if you are applying for let's say biological sciences or if you are applying for biotechnology in that case portions will be more from the bio part so that you have to take care of although you are eligible but the questions will be more from bio part and one thing which you can see very clearly is that the other eligibilities are for ms pharma or m pharma and uh, like uh, m tech in pharmacology and uh, that's what is uh, that this exam or this particular institute is basically targeting uh, people who have done uh, let's say m tech in uh, pharmaceuticals or those people who have done m pharma in pharmaceutical chemistry so those people who have done masters in pharmaceutical chemistry they are more uh, like this this particular institute or this particular exam is more for them that is targeting them uh, but yes for organic chemistry people they are eligible but the questions in the exam will be more from pharma part right one more thing which i will add over here in the eligibility itself is that in like despite having uh, like uh, uh, msc in organic chemistry as one of the uh, like one of the criteria for eligibility you should also be have qualified any of these exams like either gpat which is for pharmaceutical uh, people but for chemistry like gate or net if you have qualified any of these exams then only you can sit in the exam okay you can apply for this particular uh, form or you can apply for this sniper je exam only and only if you have qualified either gate or net or jrf or if you have also done like also provided that you should have masters in organic chemistry or physical chemistry right depending upon what you are interested in so these are the list of documents which are required which you have to upload while taking the like while filling the application form so let's talk about that how you can apply for this to apply this is the official website i'll give you link in the description of this video you can directly go over there application fees is 3000 rupees for general obc and ph candidates for scst candidates the fees is 1500 rupees remember that the amount is quite high you have to do a lot of thorough research before applying for this particular 
exam be so remember that don't just go and just apply for this form if you uh, if you fulfill the eligibility do a thorough research about this exam how the questions are asked uh, what is the level of question paper what type of questions are asked everything you have to do a thorough research about it then only please apply for it because uh, the application fees is quite high so just take care of that particular thing as well uh, uh, like I have already given you the basic information that like what is the eligibility what is the application fees and uh, these are the institutes as I said yeah so these are the places where the exam or the online exam is going to happen so the exam date is already given 12th of June and these are the cities in which the exam will be scheduled so you can check it out if the city is nearby to your place or not so now at the end i will quickly take you to the application form like how you can apply so application and the fees payment is the first step which you have to do so once you click on this particular link you will be taken to this particular page where uh, you have to first of all fill qualifying degree roll number now here you have to fill the roll number of gate if you have qualified gate you have to fill roll number of csir net in case if you have qualified CSIR net okay whatever exam you have qualified you have to fill that one thing which I want to make very clear over here that even if you have CSIR JRF or even if you have uh, qualified any of the exam already all India level exam still you have to sit for the entrance exam of NIPER uh, without sitting in this entrance exam you cannot go for the interview or you cannot apply for this particular institute okay so they have their own standards they have their own admission process you have to sit for this sniper je if you want to get admission over here so yeah first of all you have to fill the qualifying degree roll number then your name date of birth mobile number and email id which uh, for what you are applying for so there are different options like pg ms pharma or pg mba pharma pg mba uh, like uh, m pharma and then phd then integrated pg phd so whatever you want you can choose whatever you are applying for you can choose for that your category then you have to fill that whether you come under EWS category or not and fill all the details and this is how your fees will be displayed over here that how much fee you have to actually pay proceed to payment and then you can pay the fees and you can go for the other steps the further steps are like uh, once you pay it you will be allowed to fill the form then and once you fill the form you can take or you can print the application form so this is how NIPER admission process used to happen and this is a good opportunity if you have quite a high interest in pharmaceutical research and uh, that's it for this video and I hope you guys understood and I hope this video was useful to you do let me know in the comment section if you have any questions regarding it and uh, thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one till then have a great day Bye -bye. hey guys so I teach live on an academy plus platform here I teach for the CSIR UGC net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the An Academy Plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take An Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.